Haven't you always wanted a weapon that will just blast the enemy team away? I'm not talking about one or two enemies, I'm talking about an entire team. The Tommy Gun is exactly that, and there's a reason it is the most popular weapon when it comes to getting clips on my Top Plays show. I have two episodes running a week. There's around 30 clips over the two episodes, and I'd say at least 25% of those clips have recently been with the Tommy Gun. Pretty much all of the Backrage episodes have Tommy Gun clips in them, and there is a really good reason for this. The Medic class is extremely effective in Battlefield 5, and the Tommy Gun provides you with the perfect weapon for these large spray downs. The specializations allow you to turn it into a hip firing monster or more of an all rounder with a 50 round magazine. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up and then provide a couple of tips and tricks that will help you get these really nice top plays and only in battlefield moments. Just a bit of background before we get into the video. The Thompson submachine gun is an American submachine gun invented in 1918, and it became infamous during the prohibition era as it was a favorite amongst criminals in the USA. It had many nicknames, including the Tommy Gun, Annihilator, Chicago Typewriter, Trench Sweeper, or the Chopper. It was favoured by many due to its large .45 ACP cartridge, accuracy, and high volume of automatic fire, something that has clearly been replicated in Battlefield 5. Now, many of you will be fairly familiar with the Thompson when it comes to video games. It's been in all sorts of FPS games, but in terms of purely Battlefield, we've seen it previously in Battlefield 1942, Vietnam, Battlefield Heroes, Battlefield 1943, Bad Company 2, Battlefield Hardline, Battlefield 1, and now the latest iteration of the game, Battlefield 5. It is clearly a popular weapon with the developers, and due to its high usage in many different conflicts, it makes sense for DICE to keep using it whenever possible. As I said, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at a medic loadout that will allow me to get nice back rages and spray downs in multiple different game modes on Battlefield 5. It won't just be for grind, although that mode did come as a limited time mode and probably will return in the future. It can be used for different modes including Grand Operations, Conquest, TDM, Squad Conquest, whatever you're playing, this weapon will do the trick. There are many weapons out there with large mags, but I need more than that. I need good hip fire, decent single target time to kill, and the ability to deal with a horde of enemy players that might be coming my way. I'm not bothered about killing people at range, really, but having some ability past 5 meters would be nice. And this is what the Tommy Gun does really well. It's a fantastic all-rounder. So first of all, I want to make it clear that I need to play in the medic class. I want access to the smoke grenades, and that's really important when you're trying to flank people. This leaves me with very few options in terms of a back rage gun and then something that will hold its own up against another player. The Suomi or the Tommy gun. Both have identical upgrade paths, but you will find the Suomi to have more difficult recoil alongside a slightly higher fire rate, which is better, but then you have the recoil, so if you're not hitting all your bullets, it's not really worth the trade-off. There are other weapons in the Medic class that can be considered as really good for back raging, but the Tommy Gun, in my opinion, trumps them all. You unlock the Tommy Gun at Medic rank 20, meaning you need to play quite a bit before gaining access to it, but don't worry, use that time to build up a stockpile of company coins and gather all of the map knowledge you'll need to really put this weapon to the test. If you're someone that hasn't used the medic class a lot, a couple of quick tips for you. Always take the smoke grenades and the smoke launcher if you can. Use them whenever you revive people. Always try and keep yourself stocked up at resupply stations. Anything that the support players drop, scoop up quickly to resupply and replenish your gadgets and ammo. And also make use of the fact that you can have these nice little abilities with the Medic, including slightly faster sprint speed when you are on low HP. You'll find you can change these in the loadout. You can either run as the Combat Medic or the Field Medic. And I've tried both, and to be honest, I don't really notice a huge difference between the two, but having the ability to sprint when on critical health is pretty nice, and it gives you that little edge in order to get away. So let's take a quick look at the specializations. Starting off, you could have slings and swivels, or quick aim. For me, quick aim is the most important. Being able to aim down sight faster is really good. You can then go on the left-hand side for the hip fire skill tree, 
This allows your hip firing to become more accurate and then you get a faster rate of fire. But remember, only a 20 round magazine, not exactly perfect. Going on the right hand side will allow you to get this ported barrel that reduces horizontal recoil and then the 50 round mag, the big one that will really help you out in your back rages. I then choose to go for recoil buffer to reduce the amount of recoil I receive vertically. This is quite nice because it means I can spray enemies at slightly more range. However, going for the one on the right, the polished action, isn't exactly a negative effect. It will allow you to be slightly more accurate in those hip fire situations, which you will often find yourself in, but the Tommy gun is more than capable of hip firing somebody already. And with that increased ADS speed, you're not really going to be finding it too difficult to go ADS in an engagement anyway. Now there's a couple of things you can do to it to make it look cool. Personally I think the Tommy gun is one of the worst guns in terms of skins in the game. There aren't really that many cool things. They're just slightly different colours on the receivers and the magazines. It really is lacking as most of the cosmetics are in Battlefield 5. Maybe they'll be introducing something cool you can buy with company coins. I don't view any of the stuff you have to buy with real money as proper cosmetics in the game because you're paying for them and that's not really very fair in a full price AAA game. The stuff you can buy with the company coins so far has been disappointing. Let's see if DICE can up their game and make this Tommy gun really look awesome. So a couple of tips and tricks, tactics and strategies to get better with the Tommy gun. Starting off, what modes are best? Many people complain on Battlefield that they can't get clips, they can't come up against these blind enemies or get really nice back rages or spray downs. And there's a couple of reasons for this. Firstly, you might not be very good and you might struggle in situations where you've got three players in front of you, you need to kill them all and you just fumble everything. You shoot them once, they turn around and shoot you back because you missed your shot. So that happens, happens to the best of us. It's just a fact in an FPS game like Battlefield. You can't always get exactly what you want with a clip. Secondly, you might just be playing the wrong mode. You might be playing a mode where you don't find these situations enough. Usually when I'm going for back rages, I'll probably have 5 or 10 that don't work very well and then I'll hit that one back rage that's pretty satisfying. There are players who are far better than me, like Maxeek on console if you ever watch him when he's playing or streaming. He is insane at getting these back rages. We've collabed in the past and we're going to collaborate in the future again, just showing how you can get these insane back rages and most of it is down to pure map knowledge knowing where the enemy players are going to be and when now grand ops is a really good alternative to conquest for clumps of enemy players sometimes you could be playing on a mode and not know where all of the enemies are as they're in a position where you're not grand ops tends to be quite easy to work out where they are especially if you're an attacker because all the defenders will probably be on the objective trying to defend it Sometimes it can be frustrating, but in the medic class you do get access to the smoke grenades. So use those to conceal your roots and your cover. You can often smoke out enemies as well, so you just throw a smoke where you think they are. They'll all get confused because the smoke's there allowing you to run in. And of course it will help you because they won't be hearing your footsteps as often if they're hearing them at all. Secondly, if you are going on flanks, make sure you've got a squad mate that's dropping a spawn beacon for you so you don't have to run around the entire map again if you are to die. Very useful if you're going for these clips. When to revive as a medic? Of course, even if you're going on these back rages, you still need to be reviving. But you don't always have to. Reviving in Battlefield 5 is quite tricky, even with the medic class and the slightly faster revive compared to the buddy revive. You can't revive somebody if you're going to die doing it. There's just no point. And there's no point in reviving somebody if they're going to die immediately after. It's just a waste of time. Use smoke grenades to conceal your position. Make sure there are no enemies around. And then go in for the revive safely. Quite often after somebody kills a player, they'll wait for the medic to revive them and then kill you both. So they get three kills as opposed to the one kill that they might have got in the first place. Bear this in mind, what would you do if you were the enemy? Try and think like them, use your smoke to help you out and you'll be fine. Make use of your gadgets, as I said, run with the smoke nades and the smoke launcher if you're going on these flanks. Make use of the AP mines, I don't like them, I think DICE need to nerf them and sort them out, but if you get two, one when you spawn, two if you go to a resupply station, and you can have up to three if you stay alive for long enough and resupply, three AP mines will really ruin somebody's day. Two of them will get you an insta-kill, Three, well, you could get yourself a nice multi-kill, place them on the resupply objectives, be that guy, be the guy that places them on the resupplies, because at the end of the day, the enemies are doing it to you. So until DICE sort this out, 
you need to go in with them. As you see with some of the gameplay in the background, you can be a bit inventive with the AP mines. You can jump into a pile of enemies, drop an AP mine down, and then people start exploding. It's quite funny. It's an entertaining way of playing the game. So what about the incendiary grenades? Sometimes you see me using them. Mainly this is down to the fact of an assignment and I need to complete incendiary kills or damage with incendiary grenades. That's why I've run with them. The smoke is better in every single way. Incendiaries can be good for burning out downed enemies as somebody revives them. It's really another boomer tactic and something I don't enjoy at all, but it is effective in BF5. That's why people do it. Run the smokes though, if you're wondering which is best. Another few tactics with the Tommy gun. Don't be afraid to hip fire. Make sure you make use of your sidearms. Again, I'd go for the revolver because it gives you that one shot headshot capability in a pinch. Make use of your squad mates and always try and slide. The sliding is something I haven't really spoken about before in BF5, but it is so effective. You can actually strafe while sliding as well, making you very difficult to hit, which is incredibly important if you're trying to flank. If someone's shooting you when you're running around the side of the enemy team flanking, use this slide and the smoke grenades to make yourself very difficult to hit, and then conceal yourself behind the smoke and get in behind the enemy team. I'm always using the sliding mechanic. I've actually got crouch bound to my mouse so I can double tap crouch while sprinting so I don't have to take my hand off of any important keys on the keyboard. Controller people, not sure how it works for you, but I do see the better console players implementing the slide whenever they can. So that's it. That's my opinion on the Tommy gun. I think it is the best medic gun in terms of a gun that will do it all. It is a Rambo gun with a 50 round magazine if you choose to specialize it in that way. It's incredibly effective and with the loadout that I've put together, you will be an absolute machine on modes such as grind if it were to return and grand operations is kind of the next step down if you're looking for something like that. It's also incredibly good on conquest and pretty much any map that has that short range to medium range engagements. If you enjoyed, let me know down below. Leave your tips and tricks for this weapon down in the comments or anything you have to say about a possible alternative or other gun you prefer. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.